Want to see how your agent responds before putting it to the test? In this video, we'll explore the Agent Playground, a built-in space in the AI toolkit where you can chat with your agent, test different prompts, and fine-tune its behavior in real time. You can chat with your agent directly in the Agent Builder. The agent's configuration and prompts are going to be on the left side of the editor, and then the agent's response is going to be on the right. I want to close this sidebar up so we can get a bit more real estate. So here I've created a developer trends research agent. I'm going to be using the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model via Anthropic. And then down below, I have a system prompt. My system prompt says, you're a tech-savvy research assistant who specializes in developer tools and workflow trends. Use the internet to gather up-to-date information from credible sources. Summarize key findings into concise thoughts, and your tone should be clear, insightful, and forward-thinking. I want to pass in this prompt that says, get the latest trends in developer productivity, summarize three key points, and recommend five blog post topics. Selecting Run, I'll be able to see the output from the model display over on the right. And we seem to have a response pretty quickly here. So the model did some research externally via the internet, and I see that we have some research from credible sources, as it says, from 2023 to 2024. We have some key insights listed. This is super helpful. And then we also have a recommended blog post topics. So we have beyond lines of code, building a developer platform, hidden clause of context switching from individual to team productivity, and documentation as code. So at this stage, there's a couple of next steps that I could take. First and foremost, I could modify the system prompt to further define how the model behaves and responds. Or I could also simulate a multi-turn conversation by adding this model response that I've gotten over to my prompts that are going to be over here on the left. It's essentially adding context to the agent. And if I do so, the model response will be included in the next run that I execute. So one thing to note about that is that all text in the prompt area that I have here on the left, so that includes this system prompt and my user prompt, this is going to be included every time that I actually do a run. And that will count towards your total prompt tokens as well. Okay, so I'm going to add this in here as additional context. We'll add that to prompt. And then so you can see where that gets added. At the top, we have the system prompt. We have the prompt that I submitted, which is a user prompt. And then we have this one new area now that's called assistant prompt. And we have a second one. And this is going to be the response that we got from the model itself. So that should all look familiar because that's what we had over on the right. Just below, it will add in a brand new user prompt section, which is great. So I can submit my next prompt to the model. In the event, however, you choose not to add in the model response over to the left-hand side and you need another user prompt box, what you can do is select Add Prompt next to the Prompt section and then select User Prompt. Since I already have one here, I'm going to actually utilize that one and then I'll submit a follow-up question. Let's say that I actually want an outline for the blog post documentation as code. So I'll ask, provide an outline for the fifth blog post option. This is just to show you that it is taking that previous response into account without me explicitly saying documentation as code. So we'll go ahead and run that. Okay, got a response here. And it did take into account what the actual blog post is, which is documentation as code, even though I only said the fifth blog post option. And I get a full outline here. And if I were to do any blogs on this topic, I will be in a pretty good spot to move forward with creating my actual blog posts. As a next step, I can continue to refine my agent prompts. I can get rid of anything that I want to remove as well from over here. So whether it's an actual section, like the model response that I added in earlier, or even my own prompt that I added in earlier as well. So you do have the option to clean things up a bit. But as a whole, this is how you can go about chatting with your agent and refining its prompts. Testing your agent in the playground is the best way to see how your agent performs in real world scenarios. Try different prompts, tweak its behavior, and iterate. Download the AI Toolkit at aka.ms slash AI Toolkit and try it for yourself.